So how can we collate sports fixtures into a league table in Excel? Well, this one is a really interesting task for me, and it's an interesting one because it's something lots of people are trying to do, lots of people out there involved with sports on an amateur basis and trying to produce this kind of analysis. And it's also really interesting from an Excel development perspective. And it's interesting because it's actually quite a complicated thing uh, to have to do. And unless you're pretty adept at pivot tables or you've got an in-depth knowledge of visual basic programming, it's not something you're gonna be able to do easily. It's not something you're gonna be able to do in one step. And this is why it's interesting for me. You really have to take a step back and try to adopt the, the mindset of, of a programmer or a developer to be able to develop a file that's gonna get the job done. And that's what we're gonna do in this video series. We're gonna go through the whole process, but try to avoid this temptation to get it all done in one go. Uh, that temptation, that desire to try to get it done in one go is how we often get into trouble with Excel because we can't get it done in one go, it's just too complicated. That has a demotivating effect and usually means uh, that we give up. So in the video series, we're gonna go through the steps really slowly, uh, step by step, and we're gonna build the file, and you're gonna see what the structure of the file is. And it's generally a good structure for Excel models. Uh, in the file, we're gonna have three main elements. We're gonna have a data set there, uh, in the back end, we're going to do some calculations there, but not too much. And then on the middle sheet, we're going to have a calculation sheet. On that sheet, we're collating all of the data, doing some calculations there. And then finally, uh, on the third sheet, uh, this is the sheet that the user is going to be seeing. So it's going to have some good formatting on to allow the user to interpret the data. And this is the front end. This is um, where we're going to present the league table. And this is um, the part that the user will actually be in interacting with. So three main parts uh, to the spreadsheet there, um, data set, the back end calculations, kind of the middle part of the spreadsheet, and then the front end, the outputs that the user is actually going to see. So it's a really interesting task from that perspective. We're actually employing um, a really effective structure that works in most Excel models, and we're going to work through it in this video series. Now, what am I actually going to do? Uh, well, for a bit of a challenge, I'm going to take the actual data from the Premier League 2015 to 2016 season, um, I've downloaded all of the matches, all of the results, and I'm going to just work through the process and build, build a league table. And then hopefully, uh, if we do it well, the league table uh, should replicate how the league actually finished. So it's, um, it's a nice exercise because we can test it very easily against the, against the actual league table. But hopefully that's a good kind of proof of concept and it's good proof, uh, it's a good test and it shows uh, that we've got it right. So as always, make sure you download the download files. There's two download files available on the website and there's a link below this video to those download files. One of the download files is complete, so there's nothing wrong with having a look at that first, clicking through it, trying to understand how everything works. And the other file is a starter file, so that has the main formatting in, the column headers, things like that. And that's a good starting point if you're gonna sit down and work through uh, the whole series with me. So let's get started. Um, I'm Chris from Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions, and this is uh, the video series, how to collate sports fixtures into a league table in Excel. I hope you'll join me in the first video. 